The Scandinavian defenses reached after the moves e4, d5, e takes d5, queen takes d5. White mainly responds with knight c3. The th after queen e6 check, each response by white has a minor drawback. With queen e2, white gives away any hope of fighting for the advantage. After queen takes e2 check, knight to f6, we have an easy game. We can put our pieces wherever we like to finish our development. Knight g2 has the inconvenient of slowing down the development of the f1 bishop. After d4, it's time to present our development plan. Objectively, the early queen check slowed down our development a little bit, so we have to hurry with moving our pieces out. We plan to develop our queenside pieces and then castle queenside. We will look at how Magnus Carlsen conducted this plan successfully against Grandmaster Mamadov. He starts with b6, planning to put his bishop on the most active diagonal possible. White attacks the queen with d5, Carlsen drops the queen back and put his bishop in fianchetto. After bishop c4 by white, Carlsen wants to put his knight on c6, but the d5 pawn is controlling it. He gets rid of it with c6 and after some moves, black can finally play knight c6, and after bishop f4 is able to castle. Black has successfully completed his development and has no problem. Carlsen even went on to win this game. After bishop e2, we play queen g6, exploiting the fact that the bishop no longer defends the g2 pawn. Most of your opponents will simply defend the pawn with bishop f3. Once again we will follow a game by the world champion against the same opponent, GM Mamadov. He carried out his previous development strategy. He began by developing his knight with knight c6 and after knight g2, put his light squared bishop on the most active square, and in the upcoming moves he castles queenside. After d3 and e5, his position is even slightly preferable, since he has a more active queen and a pawn in the center, while white doesn't have one. Carlsen lost this game later after always being better, but it was a blitz game and he blundered at the end with little time on the clock. White's best attempt to punish us is knight f3, ignoring the threat to the g2 pawn and carrying on with the development. After all, we moved our queen three times already. In the game Mental against Glaw, played in 2007, Black again started with sensible development, g4, and after some moves, he should have completed his development quickly with the routine move Castle's queenside. Instead, he went on with full aggression and after a few imprecise moves, obtained an initiative on the king side, and eventually won the game. Okay, the key points to remember from this video. At the starting position of the Scandinavian defense, we immediately deliver a check with queen e6. Then, our focus is to complete our queenside development and cast on that side later in the game. You might look at the illustrative games in more detail if you want to dive into the typical middle games we can reach through this opening. The complete games are all available in the description. I wish you many wins with this tricky Scandinavian. If you like the content, please subscribe to see more opening videos. See you next time.